Many people who want to become a consultant or even who want to become a management consultant don't actually know what the differences are between different kinds of consulting. As my grandmother famously said when I told her that I got a job in consulting, she said, everyone's a consultant. What kind of consultant are you? To help you avoid a painful discovery once you get into a job and it's not the kind of consulting you thought it was, today I'm gonna to do a deep dive into three different types of consulting. Strategy consulting, implementation consulting, and tech consulting. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about strategy consulting. Strategy consulting is often synonymous with management consulting, although management consulting can also be considered a broader sphere. That's why our name is Management Consulted, because it covers all kinds of consulting to management. Uh, but strategy consulting does very specifically talk about working with senior level folks on questions of what should they do instead of how should they do it, who should do it, or more. Strategy consulting is out of all of the fields of consulting, the smallest field of consulting. Why? Because for every mid-level manager or VP or tech department, there's only one CTO. And those senior level managers mean that there are by nature very difficult questions to ask, very valuable questions to ask, but very few questions to ask at a much less frequent pace than many other kinds of questions for consulting. Strategy consulting, along with the fact that it's for senior advisors on complicated questions asked infrequently, is the highest paid to the firm and also the highest paid passed on to its consultants. This is really how McKinsey, Bain, and BCG differentiated themselves from accounting firms in the 70s and 80s and became the consulting powerhouses that they are today. They focused on remaining small, but great with a price premium. And now consulting firms like the big four who compete with MBB have acquired other firms that were strategy focused along the way as well, like Monitor Group like Parthenon, and like Strategy and. So all of those different organizations became something inside a larger organization after they had originally focused just on the strategy element. Strategy consulting is invariably sexy. Your case interviews are going to be broad and diverse, and you have to recognize that they're the most challenging firms to get into as well. Second, we're gonna talk about implementation consulting, otherwise known as operations consulting. Implementation consulting is that how do we do this after the strategy consultants or the strategy portion of a consulting project answers the question, what should we do? This is longer range consulting, and it really begins to blend the line a little bit between contracting and consulting, because you'll stay on for two months, six months, 10 months, 12 months, two years to complete a project. This is really where specialty groups that focus on areas like supply chain transformation, operational transformation, uh, any kind of word that has transformation in it is going to be along the lines of implementation consulting. And the way that you can diagnose whether you're working in implementation consulting or operations consulting or not is to ask who you work for, and how long the average projects are. If the average project tenure is longer than six months, it's very likely that you'll be working in an implementation-focused role. In addition, if you're working for somebody more junior in the firm, more operationally minded, like the COO, or a divisional president, then you're more likely working on a full-scale transformation project that will take a lot longer as well. If you want to travel, some of these are heavier travel. They do require you usually to be more on site because you're hand holding, integrating into systems, identifying pathways and challenges to those pathways. Uh, if you don't like that kind of immersion, you might want to ask about culture, lifestyle, and remote work options for these types of roles. Finally, operations and implementation work do really focus on good pay, but it's not as strong as the strategy consulting firms. It's kind of in the middle. So a lot of these firms are gonna pay you really well, but they're not going to be as high as a McKinsey or a BCG would be. Hey, Strategy Simplified, it's Japheth here. And I'm quickly popping in to tell you about Strategy Sprint. Strategy Sprint is a week long virtual consulting project that allows you to add US-based work experience to your resume. So you work in a small team, 
you get mentored by a former McKinsey, Bain, or BCG consultant, and you solve a strategic growth issue for a real-world client. So that means you gain incredible skills and experience that looks amazing on your resume. We are running several sprint projects throughout this year. Check out the dates and the link to register at the link in this episode's show notes. We look forward to welcoming you to a future strategy sprint project. The third kind of consulting that I'll talk about is tech consulting. Now, tech consulting usually works down inside an organization. And the tech consulting piece is really more of a pre-sales function than it is an actual consulting job. In fact, a great example of tech consulting that isn't really tech consulting is a company called Epic. Epic is a large healthcare organization that sells healthcare management software to hospitals and business practices for healthcare purposes. Now, they have a consulting division. That consulting division goes in and identifies what the hospital's currently using, what their needs are, what the opportunities are, and guess what happens after that? Boom, follow on afterwards, there's a big sale that happens. Now, Epic showcases how that can work in healthcare, but you'll also see the same type of work done by a firm like Accenture. Accenture has become large because they do a great job of their pre-sales process, and then they spend years afterward following on with the implementation. Tech is one of the challenges and great opportunities of the consulting space. And you'll see that other firms are getting in on the action. In fact, Bain acquired a consulting firm that focuses on tech and data analytics. You'll find that this growth area is full of opportunities. And why? Well, because right when you finish a tech consulting project, you do the diagnostic and you implement the tech over two years, the tech changes. And all of a sudden you begin again. So tech debt becomes something that firms have to think about retiring and they have to think about updating their tech and it becomes a part of the management process overall. So in terms of recurring revenue, in terms of job security, tech consulting is one of the best places to land. However, it does come at a little bit of a disadvantage. You often are doing lower level work that's not strategic in nature. You're focused on just the key issues inside the minutia. So if you like details, this is a good place for you. If you don't, not really the place for you. And also because of the long-term nature of it. However, the firms have a lot of negotiating power when they're working with you or hiring a tech consultant. And so they often will pay them less and therefore you as a tech consultant will get paid less. In addition, your job function, because it's more narrow, has fewer transferable options when you do leave consulting. Overall, there are many other types of consulting as well. There's marketing consulting, and there's healthcare consulting, there's consulting by industry, there's consulting by operational function. But these three types, strategy, implementation, or operations consulting, and tech consulting are the three biggies. And if you want to figure out what type of consulting you're doing and how you'll get paid before you even walk through the application process, you can figure out just a few key things. Number one, how long are the projects? Number two, how do they work for people and who specifically do they work for them? And number three, what kinds of questions do they ask inside the company? Overall, tech consulting, Implementation and operations consulting, as well as strategy consulting, are all great job opportunities. You're going to get trained and skilled in many different things, but there is a huge difference between them, both now and for the future of your career. So understanding where they start and where they go is essential for you as you plan your future. Still not sure where you fit in the consulting landscape? We can help. You can always join Black Belt, our most premier program, but did you know you could just book one hour with one of our coaches if you're not sure where to apply, if your resume is ready or more? We would absolutely love to work with you and you can get the link to do that in your show notes. At the end of the day, we come up with some pretty great content on this podcast. So if you want more of it, we'd love to have you. Please make sure that you subscribe. And if you've got questions, send us emails, team at managementconsulted.com. Thanks for joining.